beautiful people welcome to my channel thanks for stopping by this is zesta Hebaso, skincare and lifestyle i'm happy to be with you guys today i'm happy to be able to speak with you all today today i'll be giving you a toothpaste formulation and as i always tell you when it's a formulation it is complete Okay, so I'll be giving you a toothpaste or commercial toothpaste formulation. There are various ways in which this can be done. But I picked one simple one that I know you can use to make toothpaste for yourself either at home or if you want to package it maybe in dry form to sell as a business. Okay, I looked for ingredients that I know that are easy to find around our environment here in Nigeria. Okay, so let's get down to the business of making our toothpaste. So to make your toothpaste, you will need your calcium carbonate. This is the high, this is the ingredient that will be in the highest quantity. You will need your calcium carbonate. You can use a cheese cloth if you're making it at home to sieve it so that you get finer particles out of it. Oh, and by the way, I believe we all know what toothpaste is. Is it not so? What is a toothpaste? A toothpaste is meant for cleaning the surface of our teeth. Is it not so? We use it to brush our teeth so that our teeth will stay healthy. It will reduce uh, mouth odor and then um, food debris away from our mouth. Is it not so? This formulation I'll be giving you, you can use it either in percentage or in grams. It is still the same thing, okay? So our calcium carbonate is what we use as our abrasive agent. It is one that will create some sort of friction on the surface of our teeth and encourage cleaning so that we will not have, um, so that we will not have our, our teeth to not be slimy, okay? You know at times when you stay a long time without brushing your teeth, you use your tongue and rub it on top of your teeth like this. Mm? It will be feeling slimy, okay? So that calcium carbonate is what will act as an abrasive agent that will clean up and make the teeth smooth and clean, okay? So we'll be using 28 grams or 28% of our formulation of our calcium carbonate. Then the next thing we'll be using is, is our sodium laurel sulfate. That's our SLS. Our SLS will act as a surfactant. The surfactant is the one that will reduce surface tension such that it will be easy to clean. That is why when you're brushing, you see your, your toothpaste will look like foamy, kind of. It's not also it's because of these surfactants they, they use, okay? So our SLS is our surfactant. It will encourage cleaning, make cleaning easier, reduce the surface tension, and thereby making the cleaning of the teeth far, far much easier. Okay? So we'll be, you, we will be using 0 0.5 grams or 0.5% of our surfactant. I'm going to write all this, okay, and put it on the screen for us to see. Okay? Then we'll be using a, soft, a, a humitant. Our humitant will be 11 grams or 11 percent. And we can use glycerin as our humitant. We can use propylene glycol as our humitant, okay? But for this particular recipe, it's glycerin that we use as our humitant. Our humitant is the one that will moisturize, let our toothpaste not be too dry. Okay? Okay, we are using 11 grams or 11 percent of our humidant. Next, uh, the, uh, the next ingredient we'll be using is our binding agent. And our binding agent, of our binding agent, we can use our gum arabic or our gum taganit. Tagakant. I believe I'm not pronouncing this thing well, so I will spell it for us, okay, on the screen. We are to... We, we, we will use zero point. We use zero point seven five grams or zero point seven five percent of our binding agent. Okay, this binding agent is the one that holds the toothpaste together. You know when you squeeze out your toothpaste, it just stays in a, this kind of roundish long bulb on top of your blob on top of your 
brush giving it that nice look it doesn't spread and you know just cover everywhere like that immediately no it's because of this binding agent then again there are some toothpaste that you see they have up to two colors on them okay like maclean most of us like our maclean or if you see that it will have blue it will have white it will have red now this binding agent is one that prevents these colors from entering each, into each other the blue will not seep into the white the red will not seep into the white the blue will not seep into the red you know that kind of a thing so it is a binding agent that does that okay so now now the next thing is our liquid face our liquid face is our water okay <laughs> we use nine we use nine point seven percent or nine point seven grams of our liquid face it might not necessarily be water let's say you want to put herbs or extracts or aerosols into your toothpaste for example there are some toothpaste that sell in the market will say herbal toothpaste they use mint they could actually use that mint extract okay and then use it to replace the water face it might not necessarily use water okay so you could use even your you could use even your herbs you could use an extract of your choice okay as your water face okay so our water face is our water face is 9.7 grams or 9.7 percent as i said earlier i'll put this thing out on the screen so that you understand everything all these things i'm mentioning the measurements i'll put them out on the screen so that you'll be able to get then we need a sweetening agent our sweetening agent is our saccharin okay our saccharin sodium as our sweetening agent okay you know when you're brushing your teeth you know the toothpaste tastes sweet that's why some children lick toothpaste we'll be telling them i ah, don't lick toothpaste it's not good but because of the way it is sweet you know they will enjoy licking it is because of the saccharin that they put in it might not necessarily be saccharin some people will use chloroform as a sweetening agent okay but for this particular recipe it's saccharin that is used as a sweetening agent okay and you and you and you use 0.05 percent or 0.05 grams of your sweetening agent okay then another thing that you can add is flavor let's say you use mint extract in your toothpaste you might have to use mint flavor because that mint extract might not be able to keep this the scent as long as the mint flavor or mint essential oil that will give it that particular scent that is appealing okay and you put a quantity that is sufficient okay it is to your taste but of course don't put it too much so that it will not be overpowering then the preservative also you have to put a preservative okay your preservative also is quantity sufficient then there are some other things also that you could add in your toothpaste i didn't mention here you could add whitening agents these whitening agents could be for the toothpaste for example you could add titanium dioxide to make your toothpaste look more whitish okay then you could also add hydrogen peroxide this hydrogen peroxide now will not be for the toothpaste it will be for the teeth of the person brushing you see some toothpaste that when somebody uses it after some time the person's teeth will be white to be shiny they'll say ah it has whitening formula it has a whitening formulation it has a whitening uh, uh, magic or you know things like that they, they use this, this kind of uh, english to sell their product hydrogen peroxide will do that work simple and short is it not so so that hydrogen peroxide could be used okay to either to be to act as a whitening agent for the teeth and also depending on the formulation you're doing you could decide to use titanium dioxide to act as a whitening agent for the toothpaste the other things that you could add are your antiseptics into your toothpaste okay for example you could decide to add your chloro your your chlorohexidine okay there is this mouthwash that they sell i think listerine 
it is the active ingredient in listerine is that chlorohexidine okay so in the same way you could decide to put that chlorohexidine into your toothpaste that will change your toothpaste into like a medicated toothpaste isn't also you could also decide to add um let me see what's the name of this thing some people are three closer yes some people are three closer to their toothpaste okay this will also act as an antibacterial agent making your the toothpaste medicated okay then depending on what you want you could decide to make it a herbal toothpaste you know the way we have double herbal toothpaste okay you could just decide to make it a medicated toothpaste like our oral b that will tell you that it is medicated you could decide to just make it a plain toothpaste like our my my and all that do you understand although most brands now they have different they will tell you they have the herbal they have the white whitening you know whatever then this toothpaste also come in different forms they come in gel form they come in in creamy in a creamy paste depending on the one you want to make but this particular one that we are talking of is on the toothpaste not on the gel form the gel form has its own formulation also okay if you're interested in that comment ask me nicely and i might just do it give you the formulation okay okay so now what is the procedure for making this toothpaste now that we have the ingredients the first one is the dry gum dry gum method okay you could mix your dry ingredients and your binders together first for example now in this instance your calcium carbonate and your gum tagan tag is it taganite or whatever and then all your gum arabic okay these are your binding agents you mix and when you're mixing you mix slowly is it not so so that you not create you know it to be you know the you know the calcium carbonate is a bit dusty so that it will not be moving up so you, you stir you mix slowly okay you first start with your dry agents and your binding agents to mix them slowly after that you add your liquid components that is like your water and your humic tanks okay after you mix your dry ingredients and mix up properly you now put in your liquid agents you mix properly okay mix properly until you get a smooth paste before you finally add your 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 soft tank and your flavor last you always put in your flavor last because so that you don't end up losing most of the flavor to the atmosphere before packaging so that by the time you've mixed everything mixed everything the flavor goes in last after you put in the flavor you package and keep okay so now the second method is in this the second one is the wet the second one is the wet gum method in this method you start with your wet with your water phase or with your liquid phase agents okay that is your liquid phase with your gums or with your binding agents that's why we call it wet gum the wet the wet face and the gum face wet gum face you start with your liquid face you mix it with your binding agents you mix it properly okay until you get a smooth paste or a uniform mixture then you now put in your solid agents before you now put in your in your surfactants and you mix until it's smooth and your toothpaste is ready okay so this is how to make the toothpaste this is a toothpaste this is a formulation okay so if you actually want me to make toothpaste for you you can comment or you can send me a request then i'll try to see if i'll be able to if i'll be able to gather the ingredients and then make a video on how this toothpaste is made okay so thanks for watching my video i love you all thanks for stopping by my channel thanks for subscribing thanks for commenting thanks for sharing i love you all have a beautiful day ahead of you Bye.